Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy's Couch. So today's video is going to be a little different. It's going to act as almost a legacy and celebration for all of the work that we've done here on Chippy's Couch. It's kind of hard to imagine, but I've been doing Let's Plays on this channel for two and a half years now. And when it comes to Let's Plays, let me tell you my routine. I make a world, I do my series, and at the very end of the series, I say goodbye to the world. And then I never go back to it, which means I have this archive of very old worlds, worlds that may mean something to you. I know they mean something to me, but they may mean a little thing to you. So I thought we could go back to all of my old worlds from the past two years, have a little look around, see what's different, because of course the mods that we play have updated over time, and therefore the world is slightly different. And there are little things that I can point out things that you might find interesting. So, with that out the way, let's begin. I'm going to try take these all in chronological order. So, this is the very first world that we made on Chippy's Couch. I made it in January of 2017, and it was for the Calamity mod. So, here it is. It's made of granite. Back then, I was going for this aesthetic where you had all of these random boxes, but you made them connect together. I probably wouldn't build anything like this now, even though I'm still a terrible builder, I look at this and I'm like, yeah, this is this is pretty bad. Um, but here it is. It had two areas. This area, this area. And these are for the NPCs. And then just over here is where I did all of my crafting. This was back before Magical Storage. I never used it. So I would simply put everything in here. Kind of like what I do now. I'm kind of nostalgic for this kind of a uh, chess system. So what I remember the most about this world is that the first half of the series was filmed in my office in my old flat. My old flat was pretty crummy. Um, it had these horrible windows that let moisture into the room constantly. It was rough. And, uh, and I remember there was this big outbreak of mold in this room, this office. It just came out of nowhere. So I had to like strip all the walls back to the, to the plastering and repaint it all. So the second half of the series was made in my bedroom. And I remember I'd be awake at night, like, editing away. And there'd be this, like, really loud click-clack from the keyboard. And uh, and Courtney would, like, wake up and go, James, can you can you maybe just shut up? <laughs> like, can you stop with that? And, um, and I remember that was always so funny to me. And I remember telling a bunch of stories about my painting skills and such. Um, <laughs> it was a good series. I did have fun with it. Uh, for the Calamity fans, I thought this was pretty interesting. So this was my original Yaren area. This is where I beat Yaren. Um, as you can see, it's nothing fancy. It was simply a uh, just an open area. I don't think I had too many problems with Yaren back then. Yaren was pretty easy. If I remember right, Calamitous got me there. Uh, Yaren got me here. And the DOG got me here. So three of the mega bosses all in a row. Pretty cool. Now, this world is from my first Forium series. So, this was around the end of March, beginning of April 2017. As you can see, I'm rocking a big NPC hotel. I still very much like this with the glass and a bit of wall surrounding it. Kind of like what I would build now. I have my main house, which is pretty generic. You know, just looks like something I would build, really, let's be honest. Uh, once again, using all of the chests instead of magical storage. And then over to the right, I have the marble house. Now, I'm not going to lie. I started this marble house because season one of Calamity had a granite house. So I wanted to do an opposite of it. I'll tell you the truth. I hate this house and I hated building it. And the moment I started it, I hated it. I just didn't want to finish it. I couldn't be bothered. So it sat unfinished until like the final like... I don't know, a couple of episodes, which is pretty funny. I don't think there's anything to point out on this world other than the fact the uh, the aquatic depths is gone <laughs> alongside some questionable, questionable world gen. So this is what this looks like now. Just completely broken because it's from a very old version of Forium, which is pretty crazy. This world is from Calamity Season 2. I started this before ending the first series of Forium. I wasn't really meshing with that series very well, so I thought I would start up something new. This is the world that I made. It was made simply for convenience, as you can see. No doors. Uh, I really like this red hat. I don't really remember building it, I won't lie. But uh, I really like it. I think it's cool. It fits the aesthetic. 
fits the brand. Uh, over here, once again, a very standard crafting area. I really do like these. I think having a normal crafting area is so nice. It reminds me that even though I'm playing modded Terraria, it's still kind of Terraria. I like this surface mushroom biome. I don't remember building this either, but I just think it looks cool there. <laughs> looks pretty good. Uh, one thing for the Calamity fans, I think you might find interesting. This was my uh, my Yaren area. Looking through. I'm getting killed by a lot. Wait, is this Supreme Calamitous? Is that what this is? I, I don't remember. Oh, oh it, yeah, it is. I kind of remember it coming in season three, but it didn't. It must have come in this season. Oh, so I'll take that back. This is Supreme Calamitous, but that worked very differently then too. Ooh, this is cool though. Make, this makes me feel nostalgic. All these deaths, all these hours wasted. <laughs> After Calamity season two, it was time to move on to the spirit mod. And, uh, and all of the buildings that I did in this world seem to be kind of destroyed, like this one, for example. I don't know what was here. Probably something generic. Not great. I'm pretty sure it might have been made of a wood that's been removed from the spirit mod. That's probably it. I decided to build this area down here because I was enjoying Stranger Things Season 2. Which is kind of strange because we've just had a new season of it. So that shows you how long ago it was. I went for a nature aesthetic here. And that was because there was a little biome over to the left that I really liked. And it was kind of like a labyrinth almost. You had to like path your way down here and around there but unfortunately it's gone <laughs> it's completely gone and it's the same for this part of the world over here as well as you can see you just fall through it which is kind of sad when you think about it like these poor trees they've just got no support in life <laughs> after that came death mode calamity which was probably my favorite season of calamity I mean, season one was pretty great because everything was new to me. It was all completely blind. But I really enjoyed death mode because I got so into it. And I really started to learn about all of the bosses. This was the time I was really studying Leviathan's work. And really trying to get better at the mod. And I had so much fun. Like, for example, this house right here that I built is very low to the ground. And I did that because I was factoring in that later in the adventure, I would need to do some kind of trickery with bosses. So I really went all out with that one. Up here is where I did Supreme Calamitous. I will never forget this area. Look at this area. I've still never beat Supreme Calamitous in death mode. And this is why. This is torture. If there was a tombstone there for every time that I did it, there would be literally hundreds. And that's no word of a line, which is kind of crazy. And as you can see, just lots and lots and lots and lots of deaths. Just lots and lots and lots of deaths. So another thing for Calamity fans, this is where I did Yaren. So as you can see, with this much larger arena, you can see the changes in Yaren itself. Because look at this, I'm using a big arena. I've got nice open areas. I've got walls for the tornadoes that can spawn. I really like this world, actually. This world's great. Look at this. Look how good that Plantera arena is. I have these little things in the middle to stop it from going aggro. Just a really good world. Nothing's broken other than this. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. What is going on here? Now, I feel like this world is probably the most iconic with the channel. Because it had the longest number of episodes and the highest viewership throughout. This is from... The Mega Mod Pack, which is one of my favorite series. Unfortunately, one that had to come to an end because it just completely broke. Like, all of the mods were broken. I still get messages about that now. And it's been a good year and a half since this series ended. I appreciate all the support, though. So the best part about this world is not right here. Although, I remember this. This is from uh, Antiaris. We just turned it into a teleporter hub. It's actually over here. This is where it gets good. Because I have this little area that says Chippy's Couch. And then I have the Dancing Cactus built into Terraria right here forever. Which I absolutely love. Uh, I've also got this Cactus Home, which is based on the 1.2 spoiler. Let's see. Is there anything else in this world that might be interesting? Let me reveal my map. <laughs> Thank God for Heroes mod, right? 
Let me put this away. Okay, is there anything else in this world that's worth talking about? This is where I tested out the KO cannon for the first time. I remember that. Um, <laughs> parts of this world are just completely destroyed, like this, for example, which makes a great shape. And I'm fairly certain that these parts were destroyed before the series even ended. This is how broken it all became. As you can see, uh, there is just, there's just a lot of stuff going on here. There's <laughs> just, just a lot of nothing. So this one will be the final world we're taking a look at today. This is from one of my favorite series of all time. It was super short, but it was the Thorium Bard class series. And I think you can tell because I've got the granite aesthetic from the original season. I've also got some of this musical wallpaper to go here. And then these are not here anymore, but I am using the same mod, so I don't know why. But all of this was all of my Bard armor from the series. The thing I love about this series is that each episode ended with a song and uh, and the final song was Despacito, which was absolutely brilliant. I really enjoyed that. I think this part of the world is broken because of the wildlife mod. Not too sure about that one, but here's how it looks. Uh, let's reveal the map just to check if there's anything else like hidden in this world. I really can't remember much <laughs> about any of these worlds because I just move on to the next one. Uh, so I don't think there's anything of interest. Oh, I think this is pretty interesting to point out. So this is a, a track right up here. And this was for the uh, Overseer fight. And I think at first, this was a, a railway cart system that would take me from one end of the map to the other. But I ended up going back to platforms because I remember you could use uh, these rail carts to make the Overseer fight pretty interesting. And I thought that was really cool. So that is actually my look back at some of the older worlds on the series. Let me know if you have any magical moments with any of those series in a comment down below. And if you're a new subscriber and you didn't watch any of them, I appreciate you for watching this anyway. I hope you enjoyed. I'm not a master builder, but I am somebody that gets nostalgic all of the time. So, you know, there is that. Thank you all for watching, guys. And thank you so much for supporting me over the past two and a half years. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.